Hi there everybody, Natasha Wilkinson here, your independent Sensi Consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. So, I have never been more excited to receive this little package. This is probably one of the most exciting packages as a consultant here in Region 3 Australia. DJ. I could get. It is probably my most exciting, I guess you could say, because we all know one of the perks if you've been watching my videos is that we get exclusive access to not every collection, but a lot of collections they will give exclusive access to consultants the collection prior to its sale date so we can make samples we can do what I'm doing now for sniffs although some of these aren't first sniffs for me I will have to admit or at least one's not a first sniff for me and basically market the product before it becomes available to the general public so normally this time of year what Sensi do do and that does not make sense but what Sensi does I should say is in Region 1 Australia they get holiday bricks which are massive and we get the same sense normally in bar size known as the home for the holidays collection because our market has always been smaller they've never offered us bricks bricks are hand poured so there's a lot of work that goes into bricks but for the first time this year Sensi are upsizing in Australia we're not getting a home for the holidays bar collection we're getting them in the bricks now just to show you the size difference this is a bar that you would generally purchase this is a brick it's roughly five times the size I think it's five and a half to be exact times the size of a bar so we are being offered bricks this holiday season and I couldn't be more excited and that is what is in this box so let's delve into it and do some first sniff shall me and I will give you some details so we did get the consultant kit for this at a little bit of a discounted price and they also gave us now I am going to open a Christmas mold so this is for us to make samples and send them out to our customers so we've got no excuse not to get this sent into our VIP hands if you're one of my VIPs you know you're going to get some Christmas samples I normally do the samples anyway but I love that they've given us little molds to do it they're little Christmas jingle bells and they've got the word sense in there so that's going to be kind of fun to play with and I know you're probably not interested in the mold I just like all details and all things so I did have to share that what you're interested in are the fabulous bricks so I'm going to read you a bit about what will be available we're going to do first this of the scents and I'm going to rank them from what my most favorite to my least favorite are so direct from Sensi it says seasonal Sensi bricks are coming to Australia and New Zealand for the first time this collection features hand poured Sensi bricks each with five times the wax of a Sensi bra in five festive fragrances so you will be able to purchase these from
the 18th of October. So they will be available to the general public the 18th of October in the five fragrances, which we'll talk about soon. Now, as you can see, there is a big size difference. So if you're thinking that maybe this is too big a hunk of wax for you because it is a pound of wax, if you're just wanting this particular fragrance in bar form, you will be able to add that fragrance as a bar in your Scentsy Club. But the only way you can get it as a bar will be through Scentsy Club. So seasonal Scentsy Brick Collection fragrances will be available to add to Scentsy Club through the Always Get My Bar perk as within 30 days of launch or as long as fragrances are available, whichever lasts longer due to their size differences. So you will know our bars normally come with these silver seals, but due to the size differences, they were not able to put those silver seals on that we get here in Australia. The induction seals designed for Sensi bars will not be available, but they are working with shipping partners to reduce the risk of wax melting, of wax melting in transit as much as possible. So, you will be able to purchase these bricks, if you're wanting the brick size, for $41 Australian each, or you can get a two brick bundle for $68. So, that is the better saving deal, is to get two. But if you're only wanting one particular scent, then you can purchase it for 41 Australian dollars. So, Let's delve in and do a first sniff of the five cents, shall we? Okay, so the first one out of the box is Icicles and Evergreen. And I love the little reef design on this. This is very pretty. I do believe this is actually was actually a scent of the month in region one last year and i do think it's a catalog scent in bar form in their region there which is in america um, but we have never had this scent here in australia so this is new to us in australia and it is cool blue eucalyptus and pine needle ice with crystallized sugar so this is going to be one for the tree lovers and normally I'm not the always the biggest tree lover fan. I will either find them too earthy or too dark and deep. For me, the tree scents that I gravitate to usually have a fruit with it or a cinnamon. So my tree scents for me has always been Blue Christmas. I love the Mickey Christmas one they did last year with Mickey Mouse red berry and spruce so I've always personally gravitated towards the sweeter tree scents but this is very very pretty and I think because it is on that sweeter side that eucalyptus is elevating it and lifting it just a little bit and making it bright and sweet you can still smell the tree but there's almost this sweet fresh vibe going with it so I'm really going to enjoy that this Christmas because for me my tree scents get warm November December I don't generally warm them much during the rest of the year unless it's something as I said with cinnamon in it or something that bodes towards a wintry weather but November and December I do like to warm a tree scent with my Christmas tree up just to give it the smell even though it's a fake Christmas tree make it smell like it's a real Christmas tree so that was icicles and evergreen so the next one out of the box is winter's eve and it's this 
beautiful blue colored wax with leaves and it is described as a crisp evergreen forest filled with winter white cedar and brightened by sparkling bergamot. So just reading those scent notes, I kind of feel this is going to lean a little bit masculine. Bergamot to me often comes across a little bit cologne and a little bit perfumey when they generally add bergamot to scents. And then you've got that woodsy note from the white cedar. So I'm kind of imagining something along the masculine side here with the cedar and the bergamot, to be honest with you. And yes, it is leaning masculine. It is a little bit cologne But there is a little bit of an earthiness about it as well. And I think that cedar's kind of not making it too cologne. It's kind of making it a little bit sweeter. The cedar's adding a little bit of earthiness, but that bergamot definitely has it leaning towards the masculine side. For me, this would be a really nice laundry bathroom scent. I could see myself warming it in the boys' room too. So that is a winter's eve. So the next one, and it's got pretty flowers on it. It's this beautiful pink colored wax. And that is frosted petals. So frosted petals is snowberry, white currant, reef, jingle bell, orchid, frost and sheer musk. So, oh, this is pretty. This is a very sweet, girly, powdery floral to my nose. I don't know that I'd necessarily call this Christmassy. This is something I could probably warm all year around. I can see myself warming in this in my bedroom here, in my daughter's room. It doesn't smell overly strong. It smells like it's probably going to be on the lighter performance wise. There is a little bit of a sweet fruity note about it, but then you get that powdery perfumey floral with this as well. So frosted petals, that's quite pretty. That one is. So the next one is caramel chestnut and this is a caramel-y colour I guess you could say. So it is silky caramel and vanilla cozy up to warm chestnut. I'm kind of imagining something really gooey sweet with a little bit of a nutty undertone is what I'm imagining this one to smell like. Ooh, this one's good. I'm a bakery fan. This one is speaking to my bakery loving heart. This is good. So the caramel is not too overly cloyingly sweet. It is there. You get that silky, smooth, rich sweetness from the caramel. But that chestnut is toning down what would probably otherwise be something very cloying and very sweet. That chestnut's giving it around earthiness almost. This is a beautiful combination. This one might even be club worthy in my opinion. And the last one, which I already know is going to go in my club and that I already know I'm probably going to go back and get some more bricks for. I may even get another brick of this one too to be honest with you is maraschino sugar cookie. I have smelt this one before. So 
last December, they gave a, an exclusive bar in December Swift Box that you could only get in December Swift Box. You couldn't put it into club, you couldn't purchase that bar by itself, and it was this particular scent, Maraschino Sugar Cookie. I was one of those people that went and brought a second with box just so I could get a second bar of this particular scent. That is how much I loved this scent. So, Maraschino Sugar Cookie is sugar cookie dough baked with vanilla and drizzled in a sweet Maraschino cherry glaze. And it's everything I remember and much more. This is a baked sugar cookie with cherries chopped up thrown into the baked mix. So you've got that sweet tart mixed in that sugar cookie to stop it from being a game, over cleanly and over sweet. It's just a perfect combination. Club worthy for me. Now that it will be available to add to club, I will be adding this to club in bar form. I will be getting myself another brick because this is, if I were to say, I had to choose a top three cents of all time, this would be right up there. This would be something I would warm all year round. So. They are the five bricks that will be available come no, October 18th. Now, just for something fun, because I haven't warmed them all yet, so I can't give you my true warming opinion of what will be my favourite to least favourite. But, based on cold sniff, my favourite is definitely Maraschino Sugar Cookie. Definitely going in my club. I have warmed this one definitely picking up at least another brick. My second favourite would probably be Caramel Chestnut. If I were to do the brick double to save money, it would be one Maraschino Sugar Cookie and one Caramel Chestnut. So that would be my second favourite. My third favourite would be Frosted Petals this just is a very pretty perfumey floral scent my fourth favorite would probably be icicles and evergreen and my least favorite would be winter's eve saying that though i did enjoy all of them in different ways but ones to me that i probably definitely repurchases would be maraschino sugar cookie caramel chestnut Possibly frosted petals. I don't know that frosted petals would be club worthy to me, but I may pick up another brick or get just a couple of bars as a one off Sensi Club order. But I can see myself putting these two into my Sensi Club. So if you're a bakery lover, you're going to love Maraschino Sugar Cookie and Caramel Chestnut. If you love our woodsy scents, you're going to love Icicles and Evergreen and probably Winter's Eve. If you love our Mandy Cologne scents, you're going to love Winter's Eve. If you're more of a floral or fruity fan, probably leaning more towards the floral would be Frosted Petals. But I do pick up a little bit of a almost fruity note about this. so this would be one for you so that's my quick review and first sniffs of the bricks i will be doing samples to send out to my vips so i hope you enjoyed this little haul until then stay safe and bye for now